all this space is mine to walk. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. It is your girl Tamika. Hello, gorgeous. All right, so today it is Friday. Um, actually, it's Friday, February 8th. I am on my lunch break, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into this video. I'm gonna be talking. If it's windy, if you hear the wind, sorry. Um, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about how you can lose weight on routine fasting. If you have not checked out my video uh, last week, when I talked about, you know, what is intermittent fasting and its benefits, please make sure you go ahead and check the I cards above so that you can check out that video. All right. So, so far, it's been about maybe two to three weeks already that I have been doing intermittent fasting. So I lost seven pounds. So hooray, happy, 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 joy, joy for me, girl, because um, it was a little difficult because you know, you're used to eating all throughout the day, no specific time. So I am on a structured time and my eating window 10 to six. So I am doing 16 hours of fasting with an eight hour window, okay? And um, I must say, it was a little bit challenging at first, especially that first week, but your girl got through it. Again, I did lose seven pounds. Um, I will do a video about what I eat in a day on intermittent fasting, so check out that video on Monday because today's video is gonna come out too dark. You know, I'm gonna make sure I do it today. But you can lose weight on intermittent fasting. Somebody's calling, why I'm doing a video. So you can lose weight on intermittent fasting. Everybody's weight loss will vary. So do not expect, oh my God, seven pounds, that's not enough or whatever the case may be. You can pair it with keto or paleo or whatever diet that you're on. If you are on a carnivore diet, it doesn't matter. Or if you're just eating whole foods like me, Ooh, just spit it. You're just eating whole foods like me, you can lose weight. Um, it's always good to pair it with something, but you don't have to, you're not required. Remember, it is just a eating window of when to eat and when not to eat. So do whatever you need to do and whatever that fits your needs, okay? So for me, all I did was whole foods, that was it. And then my processed foods, like if I wanted popcorn, chips, or whatever it is that was not considered whole foods, what I did was I ate half of it. So instead of eating a whole bag of personalized chips, like say Lay's potato chips, I just ate half of the bag. Now granted, there's not enough in the bag anyway, but that's just an example. Another example would be the 100 calorie kettle corn popcorn. Now it's a little small personalized bag again. It's only 100 calories. So if you half enough that popcorn, it's only 50 calories, right? It's only 50 calories. So do it like that. When it comes down to my protein bars, instead of me eating like a whole protein bar, I will half in that protein bar up so it will only be 100 calories that I am eating. No, I'm not counting my calories. What I'm trying to do is just go based off on how my stomach feels. And I realized that when I listen to my gut, I don't need to eat a whole lot of food. And I feel like, sorry, the airplane realized that when I put a calorie number to a food and then I have um, a certain amount of calories that I want to eat, I feel like I eat more than what I really need to eat because I'm trying to get up to, let's say, 1900 calories. I'm trying to make sure I eat 1900 calories, but well, if I'm full and don't want anything else and I'm already at 1450, so why do I want to keep fueling my body with more food and making my stomach more miserable and bloated just because I'm losing sun, just because I am um, trying to get a certain amount of calories in. So that is the reason why I do not count calories at all. I feel like it is not important at this moment, maybe in the future. I will count calories, but for right now, as I stated before in my last video, I am trying to 
uh, not be so overwhelmed with all this calorie counting and all this exercise and all this other stuff so speaking of exercising i do exercise i said that in my last video i'm not gonna go all deep into it but your girl still works out and i still get my daily activity um between eight to ten thousand steps every day i do get more than that but that's just an estimate just to give you a little sorry just to say that little bit right there but if you are on intermittent fasting and you're just worried about you know what to eat don't worry because i will have a video out on monday like i said earlier in the video but i just wanted to make this little quick video because your girl is getting ready to go walking and um i need to get my steps in okay so hold on Currently, I'm not sure if y'all can see it, but I am at 3,000, ooh, that's not a good number, 666, yeah. Let me get the walking because I don't like that number on mine, and I'm only at 122 calories burned. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and start walking, okay guys? And then I'm going to check back in with you and see exactly where I'm at to how many calories burned. Today is my off day of working out like on a video like doing some type of strength training whether if it's with um weights or body weight so thursdays and fridays are my off days okay so i'm gonna go ahead and get my daily walk in because i feel like that is so important even on your off days get your daily steps in so that you can steady burn calories and stay active so i'll check you out in a second top to walk because today is a little chilly i don't know what's going on with the weather in florida but i do not like well i do like it but it's a little too chilly so i want the sun okay beautiful nice rooftop area to walk all this space is mine to walk okay guys so it's time for me to go back in and i'm at 9,000 steps with 305 calories burned and it's only 123 